All right, morning, morning. We have another bracket match here today. We have Violet Pumpkin ver versus Verdant Ash. Um, joining me on comms today is Altabis. Good morning and welcome. Morning. Thanks for having me once again for another exciting match here. This should be a good one. Yeah, and um, we had Sarah is is court doing the race mining for the seed, and uh, wait till you see what kind of seed she generated for the starting moves. What is is that? Could it be? Is that it, starting Super Simeon Slam? There's there's just no way. Sarah it's never, never happened these. before. You can't you can't name a single tournament race where this happened. Nope, definitely not. Um, but this is, I feel like this is a classic Sarah start though. You got starting slam two, then you have a useful move in saxophone, and then the useless move in um, what is that? I don't even know the name of that move. Right I can't remember the name. It's useless. I never go. I never use that barrel ever. I know the name of it, but it, it might not be a uh, PG thirteen. So uh -oh. <laughs> we'll go with what we forgot. Dang, dude, we're we're. Two minutes in the stream, we're already thinking of non PG 13 related items, so. We're getting demonetized I, already. It's true. Should be starting in just a second here, and there we go. Oh, alright then. Oh, and we already got a potion. Alright, what do we got? Mini Monkey. Mini? So, do you. Do you check BFI already? Like, uh, well, uh, we have Lanky and Diddy. Oh, and there's a feather bow. What? Oops, all tiny moves. Excuse me? So, Gallon level one. Oh, this art is going to benefit Violet Pumpkin greatly. And by greatly, I mean this is like several seconds. <laughs> you get a rainbow coin. You get. Just. Level one start peak was the best. Uh, did Violet get close enough? Yeah, I don't know about that one. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, for Violet's sake, we'll hope that it's uh, that fairy is just a GB or something, but it might be the GB you need to enter level one. We have Aztec level two going here. Um, okay, it looks Ver Verdash definitely got close enough there. Um, level two is Aztec. I didn't see the amount of gold bananas. That's unfortunate. I don't know how these runners see our are. Okay, punch. more moves. What is the start? That's the the classic galleon level one experience. Just oops, all moves elsewhere. Yeah, the way Ash is doing the start missing on that rainbow coin may be huge. Oh, oh we have a key. Oh, that's an oh, expensive Oh, no! One. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, that All hurts. All of a sudden, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter until this dirt patch right here is also a rainbow coin. Ash probably kicking herself now. A okay, galleon. Shops is the donk. I think you want to just check Cranky and Galleon with that hint. Yeah. Isles, dirt, caves, lobby. That was Primate Punch. Outskirts, key eight. Yeah, the forest I'm so crate. slow. I only saw like three hints. That, that's I the reason why the I'm out of this tournament. That's the reason why I'm out of this tournament. By the way, <laughs> I suck at writing. There, hints there was a lot of discussion about how to take hints in previous uh, restreams. Uh, th there's a meta. The meta, personally, is take your time, unless you'll miswrite something. <laughs> I have never written castle as caves or caves as castle. You can't name one time. Definitely not. All right, hopefully Violet's a little bit slower at reading. Or not Violet, a Verdant. And both of these runners start with a V. Might get a little confusing sometimes. 
We're in it's that dirty. awkward no. moment where you have to go to training grounds early to get your first GB. Yep. It's not the greatest route by Fern Dash here, but it is the beginning of the run. Lots of time to uh, make things up throughout. Is that another? That's another purple potion! What is going on? We're getting, but, you're gonna get a tiny bingo here in under five minutes. I will say though, um, this does put Asek in logic now. Vines doesn't necessarily need to be in this level anymore. Um, and also, Mad Jack could be level one boss. That's what I want to see. Now imagine if Punch is Wolf just for that twirl. There's the donk. <laughs> Only two coins. There he is! The donk! Believers feeling pretty good getting first Kong in under five minutes. I know some people have a tendency to skip Galleon level one, but like that, that DK hint kind of just said you, you had to peak cranky. Well, the thing about Gan level 1, especially in Asex level 2, like, there is a strong suspicion that you would get vines early, and that tends to be pretty big. Obviously, it didn't happen here, but getting early vines is just... It's, sometimes it's really good. Mm -hmm. Plus, Kevin the Kasplat always seems to have something on Galleon level 1. Then also, you get some additional checks with DK Lighthouse, so it's not too bad now that you have the donk. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, and you also had Primate Punch, too, so like there, there was a lot of reasons to go to Galley level 1 in the seed. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Kevin's bullying the runner again. For those not familiar with why that or why that Kasplat has a name, is because in one early season three race, people did not know that killing him was in logic while the water was raised because they didn't have diving at that point. It caused a lot of people to forfeit. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. It will uh, forever live in infamy. Eventually, we will, uh, eventually every Kasplat will be named. That, that's the goal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're, I think that, that, that's the meta people are trying to do, right? The name, purposely messing up or forgetting a Kasplat. Like, that's what Alpha did, for instance. He, he's in the last tournament race, he skipped that Kasplat on purpose so it could be named after himself. <laughs> Definitely highly recommend watching that Alpha vs. Mumble race. Yeah, that happened. was a Granted, good one. Granted, I just, I just spoiled it, so maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even even if you know the outcome, the, the commentary was A+. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. Flash read her hints? Yes. Testing area is 4 8 Diddy. Storage is 1. Igloo is 1. Outskirts Kate. Forest Crate. Growl Tree. And Aztec DK 5 DT. Horde, Caves and Mines, is 8 Diddy, Ilesovsky 2, then Lanky is Factory, Diddy is Galleon Chunky. And Diddy wasn't in any of these Chunky checks. So, it might be cannon game. So we got like... Diddy for Helm, 
and also something in Shipyard to Key 8, so like... Path to K. Rule versus Diddy is gonna show up all over these hints. This is a great play getting key to now because now you can check if level 3 is factory. That will really help with your routing. For sure. But it... You know, there, there's always, like, that decision point. You know, because we've seen seeds literally be decided what order you tackle the levels in, so... <laughs> You know, what do you do if this is... Well, I guess we'll see what both of you call it. It's factory. It's only five to get in, too. Don't forget the mic box. <laughs> Violet is going back... ...into Galleon. Or is that Ash? I think that's Ash. I'm getting them confused already. This is great. <laughs> There's too many V's. Yeah, I should just do Pumpkin and Ash. <laughs> but yeah, like, level 3 factory early entry. That, it's hard to resist that. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of checks. Oh, I forgot this. Fears. That makes sense, so I should came back. Especially if you got that Diddy hint for Chunky. It's a good check. We know it's not Diddy, but... Oh yeah, you can do dartboard this early. Yeah, this is nice because this is two checks, especially you, if you have early feather and mini monkey. Uh, it's a good way to get you just volume. And we got a testing to four eight Diddy hint anyway. So up. Yep. Oh. <laughs> There's, There's the one. quack. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> The bad detection wheel that, is, uh... That part is bad, is... you can't shoot there! Pick a different part of the board! Oh, there no! Get... Okay. Hey! Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh even no... more vials! What is these th this potion count? What the heck? That, that's like the worst feeling ever, is you get something hinted to an area and you just find a bunch of potions. It's like, oh no, which one of these is it? Oh, well, there's vines. Well... <laughs> that could fulfill the... Testing to 4 8 and Diddy, but. Oh, we got new ones. Forest. Lanky colored mushroom slam. We got a Watho stand. Storage is 4. Cave's helm is 8 and DK. There's a DK hint. I missed the last one. Eh, we'll get back to it when uh, Violet checks her hints. But DK Hell is very interesting. And we got a blast somewhere. I feel like you still want to... Yeah. You definitely need to be doing number game, I think. Yeah. Spring isn't exciting. It could be hinted to things. Vines is usually not hinted to a bunch of things. Alright, chat. Time to count. Let's see. Can you do it today? Well, we had a streak going one, two, three, but at that point it's over. <laughs> Dude, chat, I think chat knows their best. The previous restream, I think we got to like six. Yo, you get another chance, you get another chance. Start over, start over. Okay, okay. Being ruined by griefers, oh. dude. Ah, uh, no seven. Even I know four twenty sixty nine is not the next number. 
Uh, nothing else in testing, so it's either going to be Simeon Spring or Vine Swing. This path to Diddy Phase 4-8. Foolish CBs and Factory was the last one there. Yeah, that's got to be nice. Yeah, nobody likes doing the production climb just for CBs. And that, that's always something that's in the back of your mind with Factory CBs also. It's like four out of the five metals are Sphere Zero. So it's always there to ruin your seed. Oh, look. What a useful move. Well, it is WAF. We know that. For Colored Mushroom Slam. Yeah, you can't be horribly upset. It helps put together hints if you get, like, an R&D to whatever hint. We found three potions in here. Is that enough to call it Stactory? Granted, uh, you, you two of those you're commentating, are... right? <laughs> yes. But, like, two of those moves were O-Stan and Simeon Spring, so, like... We're, we're kind of, like, doing the Walmart version of Stactory here. Oh, I made a boo-boo. Sorry, guys. In the restream. Hold on. There we go. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. Oh, maybe, Alta, you're right about this week's stactory. <laughs> yeah, there's diving. Pearl enjoyers are hooting and hollering. Okay, right, so... Early Lanky. Chunky gets Diddy and Galleon, and then Diddy buys Lanky here, so... Yeah, so we're really, what? Probably barrel throw away? Just gotta find it. Barrel throw and maybe pineapple oh, if yeah, it's on do, cannon you, game? Well, you do, yeah, you do need pineapple more than likely. Um, foolish jetpack, no jetpack today, folks. So sad. Maybe we'll get arcade instead. Violet is opting to go to back in the galleon here. Um, I'm betting this is a play for the metal for Chunky. Oh yeah, diving gets you the metal too. That's. That would be a strong play. There's also the often forgotten uh, Kasplat over by Cranky. Oh, she's going for... Oh, I thought it was a fairy for some reason, but this will be good. This will get you hints. Maybe she'll read it. Maybe she won't. Diddy's on Chunky's metal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. oh, oh my good god. god. <laughs> what the heck is this? 4 8 Tiny Diddy DK Japes Forest. 4 8 Japes Kids and Mines is one. Forest Shops Foolish. Actually got them all that time. So this, we have gigapaths, ladies and gentlemen. Two gigapaths are pointing to the exact same items. So the main aisle hint's probably Feather, right? Because that locked both the items in testing. That's also on the feather, path to 4-8 and Diddy. Yeah, so Feather was Jave's Forest Lobbies. And then main aisles was, what, Mini Monkey and Punch? So we clearly have something there. Yeah, or wait, Feather was inside Galleon, that's right. Yeah, so that's So it's fill. Mini instead. Yes. Um, and I would suspect, now remember, the factory testing area locked 
some of those things, but not everything. So I'm betting that Mini Monkey and Feather was independently needed for that testing um, potion, which was either... It's, it's going to be Vines or Simeon Spring. So more than likely, those two Giga Pass are going to be a Mini Monkey and Feather. Mm-hmm. You got your tiny K roll sorted out from that already. I think you check the boss here just in case that. Oh, yeah. actually, no. Th that, that's the what she's doing, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Diddy can be on here just because of how level order works. One of my favorite portals in the game is this portal down at the very bottom of the lighthouse area because people don't know this area exists. <laughs> I'm reminded of, I think it was a tournament seed where this was the logical boss door to get, and it threw everybody off. And there's Chunky. All right, not here. So that all but confirms that Diddy is on canon game. Yeah, I think you gotta go to Asik now, right? Yeah. Yo, and again, shout outs to those chunky coins. Alright, we have Violet probably making this. Oh my gosh. We have Vern Dash. I, I think I figured out what the problem is. Vern Dash has put Violet Pumpkin on her stream. So that's why I keep messing that up. Oh yeah, the uh. The saying who she's playing against on her stream, yeah. Yeah, so. I figured out the problem, unfortunately. Well, actually, I'm going to put the timer over that. Ha! I can't see it anymore. Not gonna Lower be this time. Lower bracket versus 20 minutes and 40 seconds. We're looking for barrel throwing and pineapple here. And there's a key that Lanky can buy. I don't think that was hinted yet, so... Yeah, we we definitely know that key is not key four. The path to key four is too ridiculous for it to be that. Yeah, key four is gonna be in factory and storage area somewhere. And actually it's probably it's going to be likely on a boo boom blast lock check. Yeah, it being the uh, Diddy storage barrel could also check out his vines would be on the path to it. is in the tiny temple today. Yo, free duels in tiny temple, let's go. Meanwhile, we have the pearl check on Ash's side. Let's see what this is. Will the pearl gang be rising up today? Pearl gang, pearl gang, pearl gang, pearl gang, pearl gang. Nope. Nope. Unless... Unless that fairy is needed for BFI. We have some Metroid music going in here. I think this is Meta Ridley? Yo, oh. oh, it's Coconut Shooter. Nice find. It is a good find. We got a DK five door temple that's hinted. Yep, we are going to be going there shortly. Ash is basically doing the same route that Violet Pumpkin did, minus, or plus the Pearl Shack. I feel like when you got that hint to find Diddy, like, no, these checks make sense, but it sure feels bad to go through them all and then find out that it's on canon game. Yeah. 
I'm waiting for Monkey Port to show up so we can get our tiny bingo. <laughs> Another pearl. <laughs> Got a decent density of GBs here, considering the amount of moves that were just vomited at the start. I suppose that's also the benefit of an early factory. Yeah, and really quick seeds usually are getting about a gold banana in a minute at top level play. Uh, they are a little bit under that, but like, the, like you said, considering the, considering the amount of moves, this is pretty good pace. We'd have no way to track this metric, but checks per minute is usually a good indication on how fast you're going to go. So Got to get the stat nerds on it. What if that's a stat we could add to... Hmm. That <laughs> could totally be a stat we could add in the... Uh, Credits for ver for uh, Dog Randall version four. Someone write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Checks checked and then checks for a minute. <laughs> Elrock says no. Overruled. And the sad melon on a metal. Doesn't appear Violet Pumpkin knows the uh, trick to get the crate on top. I don't think she's concerned with that at the moment, though. She's probably more focused on doing the DK5 door temple, which will be coming to shortly. I don't think the hints really have any reason to believe at the moment that going after that crate's necessary, but. I don't know if you'd want to just blindly go for that crate without information either. Especially if you're not, like, great at that trick, like, that can just be a big time suck. For no reason. We got Tiny's Metal coming up, and... Actually got a three checks here at Five Door Temple, because you got Tiny's also and the Fairy. All right, in we go into the Five Door Temple. You know, speaking of checks per minute, I think all that's going to do is just have the drop sanity players inflate their numbers. Guitar Gazump. You do need that to beat a Helm. Yeah, that's a path to key eight. We don't have anything pointing to that yet, aside from a Waff Five Door Temple, right? Yeah. I'm not terribly concerned with it at the moment. It's always the awkward thing when you get a bunch of moves early on before you get the hints for them, and then you have to remember where you got what. Alright, two checks in here. Let's see what happens. Did not hear a fairy there. Yeah, that was really quick by Vilephone to deduce that. Good job by her. Alright, what do we got? Underground. Even. Oh man. Eight Diddy. Owl Tree is eight Diddy. And the underground cause splat, so we got another 
You know, that's another Vines lock check. It's looking more likely that the testing area hint now is referring to Vines. Yeah, I agree. I was initially ready to write it off, but... So, if we're thinking about it here, more than likely what we're seeing is like all these Diddy Key 8 paths. Like, this is all a giga path to Rocket Barrel at some point, right? You need Rocket mm -hmm. Barrel to both turn off Helm and to beat K. Rule here. So, we know Jape's Case of Mine's involved, we know Castle Underground's involved, we know Forest Owl Tree's involved. Um, all of that is in the same path. And we already, it appears we have all the rest of the moves for that at the beginning of the path. Vital Pumpkin can confirmation here that that is why she's seeing a bunch of Kiei Diddy pins is because Diddy's in both Helm and K. Rule. Given all the Diddy and 8 hints and Shipyard to 8 is a thing, that makes me think that Peanut is the thing that's really buried. That'd be but interesting, I, cause that, that's interesting because peanuts, like peanuts and rock barrel, are just on that same path. Then. Yeah. I don't know. The, these seats have a way of making me look like a fool all the time. So this is kind of an interesting spot, though, because now, like, you know, you need barrel throw in order to get. Diddy in order to advance the seed, basically. So, like, I feel like going into level four is... Oh, we got more moves here, first of all. Um, Cave Shops Key 6. I missed half of that because I wasn't paying attention. Um, one, of the, one of them was Cannon Game, so... <laughs> and we know what that is. Yeah, so, like, the problem now is you need to have Barrel Throw to advance the seed, basically. I'm not sure if going level four here is the play. It looks like Violet is going to be doing that, but, like... I just don't know if this is going to help them at this point. Pineapple could still be in level 4, just because Diddy's your fourth Kong, but that doesn't help your barrel throwing issue. And I mean, you do have Castle Underground, so this isn't the worst way to go. I guess technically barrel throwing could be on this Kasplat, but it's not. You were trying to speak into existence, weren't you? I was. The classic training move in the level 4 lobby. I do want to point out right now, there's a pretty big gold banana disparity at the moment. Uh, Violet Pumpkin is about 10 GBs ahead over Vern Dash. That's pretty yeah, significant Violet, in a tournament race. Violet's keeping up that... Uh, approximately 1 GB a minute pace here, though that may slow down a little bit here. Wait, did... Did, uh... Violet check Car Race? No, but Car Race was dead. Vern Dash checked it. Oh, okay. I like this play, though, like, going back and checking these coconut chests. Oh, and there it is. Yep, there's... There it is. <laughs> Yeah, that coconut, I felt like, was the key there. Um, it was behind Mini Monkey and Feather. Like, that's all in the Giga Pass, so that was definitely a good move to check that. Um, not going to Galleon, though. Very interesting. I guess it doesn't matter because you still need Pineapple, and I think that's why she's going in here anyway. Yeah, Pineapple has a higher chance of being here, I think. With barrel throwing, there wasn't really many other places it could be, given what they had. And you got quite a bit of checks you can do in Castle here, but given how important Mini is, Trash Can seems like a good potential pick. Yeah, Trash Can, anything in the underground, because that was hinted. And not that one. Look at this banana grabbing tech. Beautiful. That's so hard to do. Like, I can never do that consistently. <laughs> 
Burnt Ass getting her guitar gazumps should be heading out of Aztec shortly. And now the key for Ash here, if she wants to give is she has to make the connection to grab Barrel Throw out of the shed in Factory. Yeah, she's probably going to get her Tiny Metal and finish up Five Door Temple. That's... You know, given the importance of Mini, he also, I don't think either of them checked BFI. That would be something that would be on the back of my mind. That would have actually been another place barrel throwing could have been, which would have been nasty. Yeah, that was a long range snipe by Violet there. Got a couple GBs. What's Ash going to do here? Probably checking level 4, presumably. Which, I mean, it's still fine. We need pineapple. But I think she's, yeah, this is just going to be... I need to, uh, find Barrel Throw. Fortunately, not going to the right level. We'll see what she's up to, though. Man, I'm jealous of how quickly she can do that. <laughs> yeah. I presume we're going to see a war one warp to the other side and go into the crypt area, which is appears to be what is going to happen. Oh, you got a mausoleum too as an option. I think that's where she's going right now. You know, that main aisle to everything hint might also be referring to Punch, because Punch got Feather. It did. It kind of doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of things, unless these moves are used for multiple things. Wait, no, Punch did not get Feather, and there's a green potion. Is this pineapple? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's unfortunate. On the Feather was on the Kasplat, so it's definitely not Punch. All right, I mixed that up. <laughs> the bingoers and chatter popping off from the, the goo death. Well, I hope the uh, believers for Sub-45 are popping off because we just found Pineapple Launcher. If you want believers, believers, if you want to win here, you need to have Vile Pumpkin go get Diddy and Lanky within nine minutes. So what what do you do here? I think I think you just go get Diddy immediately. You, yeah, you just, just get Diddy. You and you probably just get Lanky right after. Like you need all the cons this seed. Like Ash didn't clear all of testing yet. And as expected, yep, we are going back to Galleon. And Violet just running straight back there to get Diddy on cannons. Finally getting barrel throw. Uh, so she is on a good track right now, even though she's behind. Uh, she's still like just buying barrel through there is a good thing. Um, she is going to be too production. It looks like though, so this is going to lose her a little bit of time. No, she's going here. I'm not sure if she's going to stay here or not, but she needs to get pineapple. 
Yeah, with factory CBs being foolish and not having Diddy to check the spring check, which, given the information the runners have, spring could still be in play, even though it seems to, at least uh, with the hints that Ash has at the moment. But... I don't know about you, Alta, but I feel like every time I commentate these, the cannon game has something. <laughs> if, I, I feel like, like of all the checks, this is the check that has something every time for me. It's never a check you want to do. You always no. feel like you're a kid being forced to eat your veggies <laughs> when you do the cannon game. Yup. All right, we are immediately going to get lanky. Well, not immediately, it looks like, but... Um, we're beginning that uh, switch check first here. All right, because in that Season 2 race where I skipped uh, the cannon game and there ended up being a key on there. And there... Oh, there's key four! There it is! Yeah, so that's vines on the path to four and eight. Yep, and that just giddy. confirms it. But what's it on the path to Diddy for is the question. Oh no, homing ammo on the upper splat. Um, I'm looking at the K James Caves and Mines hint. I'm guessing it's just gonna be a, one of the chunk or the chunky Kiswat underground because we got a hint for that. Oh yeah, that's right. There was that hint there. That I, I was already like doom thinking in my brain about a Vines mini game barrel. <laughs> All right, believers, congratulations, you win. Been getting a little bit of back and forth here with the uh, believers and non believers lately. Earlier right. in the tournament, it was just all. all the non believers all the time, and then the believers came back for a bit. I'm not surprised here that Vilepum is going to be doing production room. This is a lot of checks very quickly. Especially now that you have all the Kongs. Yeah, you can do this check, you can do the spring check. You even got O Stan to do the production pipe without having to do kick slides. It looks like Ash is going to be making her way towards Pineapple shortly here, so she is on a good track, but. Vile Pumpkin is pretty is pretty healthy as far as things go, because you figure out where key four is. She has access to level five. Potentially access to key five at some point. Granted, we do not have a hint for key five yet. I'm just having the access to that extra level is gonna be big. Key five might just be that key in the Aztec shop that we saw earlier. Yeah, that's true. We haven't had an Aztec shop sent to a key yet. At least, we had cave shops to six. Bing of hints. I'm ready for, like, a jump scare hint to happen here. Things have, things have been going too smoothly. CBs are foolish, but if you have enough to just get them while you're climbing prod, might as well hope you get the free GB from it. Oh my god, I love how Violet just ignored that. 
I'm pretty sure she's gonna get it, but... Oh. Well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I feel like you just leave it in that situation, yeah, and you if you need a slam, you go in. back. Yeah, you already have all your moves. Alright, Ash getting the reconfirmation of where Diddy is. That's like one of those situations you wish you got the hint earlier so you wouldn't have wasted the time on the galleon check, so you might still end up doing them anyway in that situation. Chess castle rules. 8DK, interesting. R&D is just seven, and Asex Shops is five. So you're correct about uh, as Asex Shops having key five. So I'm assuming Violet may be just going there. She might just go to level five, though. I don't think it really matters what order you do this in. But um, Castle Rooms is a big deal here because now we know that I think there's potential, like, especially can buy the Kame's Helm lobbies, right? You have two DK and Key 8 hints, so, like, at some point you're going to be getting Baboon Blast possibly soon, especially now that you have access to all the levels, or the level lobbies, I should say. There's... I'm wondering what castle room it might be, because... I feel like Lanky Tower is not completely out of the question, but... Yeah. Just because we need Grape for Owl Tree, but... There's just... I don't know, it could easily just be Sphere Zero... No, uh, Library, since we started with Strong Kong. Alternatively, there is the cave's lobby check that also requires strong con. That's Gates true. Level five that is twenty three gold bananas, very cheap considering uh, uh, Vile Pumpkin has forty GBs now. Did we see what level six or seven was? No. Okay. We have a colored mushroom slam hit, so. You know, Forest is level 7, we're looking for a slam. Yep. Hey, Ash is redoing the cannon game. Womp womp. Violet going straight for the underground that we know is hinted. What do we got? Did he acquire it on Vern Dash's side? And there's Rocket Rock. Barrel. Cool. All right. Well, there's our finds to Diddy path right there. You, you correctly identified that one there earlier. Hey, we still gotta figure out why Force Owl Tree is on that path though. Maybe that's just Pete. And actually, that wouldn't surprise me if that's just peanuts, because you also have Gallant Shepard Outskirts with just Key 8, which is also just peanut access. Uh, that's going to be in the crate over there, so we're looking for Grape. Um, I'm trying to look at my hints here. I think Grape is just going to be... Maybe it's just going to be the mushroom game at top of the mushroom. Mushroom Pound game, whatever that's called. Colored Mushroom yeah, something. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Rainbow Mushrooms. <laughs> Alright, then you have R&D is just Path of Seven and Only Seven. Um, there wasn't really any moves hinted for it. Did that so, splat drop an item? I can't remember. No. The one in R&D. Wait, no, it dropped a rang stand. 
Okay, so Mushroom so Slam maybe, might just yeah, be in there. That yeah. might just be key seven. Isle City Peanut Cage is Woth. Uh-oh. That's a... Like, that's an easy check to get, but logically it needs a lot. Um, I think you need just... Rocket, you need Trombone, you need Barrel Throwing. Yeah, so and looking... Peanut. So, getting Peanut now, like, you know there's two things locked behind Peanut Minimum here. Plus Diddy K rule. So I feel like finding Grape is a now a priority. Thing is that trombone's also pointing to key eight also. Um, so that there's just a lot of things overlapping on key eight on this seed. Dude, we're missing so many key eight moves right now though. We're missing uh Gorillagon, we're missing Monkey Port, we're missing Trombone. And clearly, Peanut's gonna be for a 2% game in Helm. Because why not? I'm, I'm doing my best to do a commentator's curse here. It, it isn't working so far. I'm still hoping for the hint jump scare at the end. Maybe we just need to make you men make the seed next time. <laughs> if I make the seed, you'll, you'll need to set aside at least two hours. Or less than 90 minutes. True. So right now, by the way, the golden banana count is Vern Dash has 28. Violet Pumpkin has 50. Still keeping up with that GB a minute pace. It looks like Ash might be oh, going, going for the for crate. It. Now, we did get the hint saying that there is a potion in the Oasis Totem. There's a lot of items there, though, and most of them are rocket barrel locked. Oh, it looks like Ash shot. got it. Aw, uh, just a gold banana. Only a GB, but we were impressed. Yeah, plus 10% to Ash for doing that. Thank you, Ash. Uh, we have Triangle, but I'm not sure if that's even needed. Like, coconuts needed for things, but... Okay, there's a... That must be Gorilla Gone on the peanut cage. So, green potion, very good, very cool. That probably means monkey ports in shipyard. That shipyard to a tent. Okay, Wait, forest. I just, I just remember we had Galleon Fairy and Chest was Way of the Horde. That was Ponytail Troll. What was that for again? Oh, that was for Goo Hands. That's right. Mm hmm. So, I was like, do we miss something there? But no. <laughs> Main Isle to 8 Diddy and Donkey. Now, that makes me... That seems more like of a Primate Punch thing, right? Yeah, that that seems better you for that. You got Ponytail Twirl off that, which got you the Goo Hands check, which got you Pineapple. You gotta start thinking about where... Uh, this DK hint is going. There's a Cave's Helm Lobby not uh, uh, fulfilled yet, which might just be the Cave's Lobby Lava, like you mentioned at some point earlier. I believe also the, uh, let me see here. Oh, actually, I I was going to say the uh, Diddy and Sprint Patent Cave's Lobby, but that's not in play because the uh, hints don't line up. All right, Ash is just gonna go straight here. We believe, or I guess we suspect, it's going to be Key 7. 
That seems to make the most sense based on what we've gotten so far. And even if it's not key seven, like it would just be a move that's pointing to key seven more likely than not. There's not a whole lot in the jump scare department that could happen here. Key yep. seven. I swear that first DK star in the air on the Unguard game is the impossible one. The time attack music from Sunshine is also just very fitting for that. Did she never get this? I guess not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make her an achievement thing too, like I did for Alpha. Yeah. That's not something, uh. Not something you see every day. Ash is checking the beehive here. This is gonna be interesting. Oh wow, that was nothing. That was a rainbow coin. So this Kasplat then it's gotta have something, right? Yeah. There's nothing else this kid it can't be anything else. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, no. That was a jump scare, I think. That yeah. Qualifies. <laughs> it, I guess it's not too bad of a jump scare because you have both the instruments needed for those cabins, but like, yeah, <laughs> that was just out of nowhere. Still, it could very well be either of them because guitar was only uh, a wath hint and sax you started with. Beth. Yeah. And there's key six, so that should be all of our keys. And presumably, one of these checks here has grape. Well, the good news is that you do have access to both of the orange cab, the orange lock cabins. So, like, that's got to be the next thing on Violet's mind here. Mm hmm. That is one of the benefits to getting a Wath move like that, is it narrows it down pretty easily. Especially when you already have the moves for those checks. Fortunately, you do have access to these cabins without Slam. So there's no, like, super duper shenanigans here, because remember, Cage is level 7. And probably the least offensive level. Oh, for Red Slam, because there's only two of them. Oh, oh we got what's a random this? potion here. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's like an of course kind of thing, right? That, that always yeah. happens. <laughs> Sprint always gets thrown somewhere. That, that's unlikely to be anything.
Yeah, I was gonna say, Violet, you gotta check these. It's gonna be one of these two right here. wasn't even a hard locked uh, oranges check, but I guess that doesn't even matter because look, I don't know why you would ever go here without this hint, at least oh, given what we Oh no! Rip. The stream bingoers are feasting today. These bingo boards are, by the way, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube or something, join our Discord at discord.tk64randomizer.com and we have, like, bingos on fit on actions that, uh, our runners do during these races. Uh... Stay is it orange yet? bait? Is it... Is it the, uh... The Helm Lobby Barrel? That's actually possible. The problem is you don't have monkey porn. Right. Though, I don't know why you wouldn't check Diddy Cabin still. Like... So the problem is it can't be Diddy's because that's Rocket Barrel locked. And you would have the rocket barrel hit would have said DK Diddy eight, and it did not. Oh, yeah, you got a got a good point there. So yeah, it, it's the helm lobby barrel then. All right, well, if it's now that we know that, I feel like Violet should be checking the monkey port hint. Um, we do have an igloo. We have er, Igloo, um, I guess one potion is hinted there. So maybe she's just gonna sneak on over there for a second. Ash also coming over here. She's gonna pick up Orange as well and be very scared. I have a feeling Monkey Port's just in Shipyard. That would make sense. Because we've seen probably where Gorilla Gone is. Yeah. Is yeah, we we know that shipyard hint can't be uh, can't be trombone at this point because Gon's pointing to other things. So did this just turn into a grape casino? Seems to be the case, but don't forget that we have castle room still. I know that's not going to get you grape, but that is going to get you something to go off of. All right, we did have that hint. Things are about to get very convoluted here with like all this like intermixing with these hints. Deciphering gigapaths is uh. It's an art. Something that takes a while to to get a handle on. But yeah, it, if you're if you're in Ash's position, uh, like she doesn't know, but like from our perspective, she really needed this to happen to the seed. Yep. The vile pumpkin. Maybe she feels really. I feel like vile pumpkins made all the right plays, and maybe she feels like this is not a good thing to happen. Right. Is like Violet's still on the one GB a minute thing with blueprints. Like she, she's sad. She's got 63 with blueprints. So, all right, and this makes sense. She's going back into castle. She's probably going to be getting that castle room sent. Oh, never mind. Then not today. Maybe she wants the monkey port hidden first. That's what it looks like. I don't hate this because, <laughs> like, it, it seems likely Monkey Port's in Shipyard, but it helps to get confirmation. A melon? Oh, wow, we were wrong. A crate it's in the forest. Wait, that's the path. To, that's on the path to Diddy Key 8. What? 
Oh, that's the yeah, that's the owl tree crate. That's oh. not what I expected. Oh, that's it's because of the the helm lobby barrel. So is that peanut in helm lobby? Oh, well, we still the still answers. We gotta find grape here. Yeah, that this would have to be grape then if it's. Casno, Casno Wait, no, it wouldn't be have great to be great because did it's did he sit on this path? Yeah. But Violet probably is thinking at this point like, I I'm not sure what to do, but I still need this, so I'm gonna do this out while I think about my next moves. Mm hmm. Even if you're not quite sure what you need to where you need to go, just doing stuff. What uh -oh. was that? Uh -oh. This could splat. <laughs> A pearl, though. I think that's a DK64 LOL moment. Violet is checking the five door cabin. It is nothing as we suspected. Yeah, we already knew this, but that for sure confirms that we're thinking Helm Lobby here. What would be pretty mean, though, is if this Castle Rooms item is like Sniper or something, because then it's probably on the Kasplat. Are you trying to meme some shenanigans into existence? I've been trying to do this the whole seed, and it hasn't been working. Somebody's got to try the curse the seed, and it might as well be me. I like the library check. On the, well, like, what castle rooms can we do? Library... Actually... We can do all of them except Lanky Tower, I think. Also cannot do the tiny race. Oh yeah, you'd need port for that. That owl tree was just eight and ditty, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so maybe that's just peanut. I don't know. No, we cooking too hard. All three is monkey port. We just. We oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I, so I'm you, the one you cooking, cooking too hard. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So where's peanut? Is it on a monkey port check? Wait. No. It's in helm lobby. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's helm lobby. <clears throat> Chimpy charge out of nowhere. Wait. No. But no. Can't be helm lobby though because it's only DK key eight. That has to be. That has to be Baboon Blast. Do you see how hard it is to decipher Gigapaths here? We're... We keep going in circles. We're, we're n we don't know what's going on. I just work here. That, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Everything's a casino when you can't decipher your hints. Alright, this looks like a library check here. Ash is starting to close the gap on GBs. <coughs> Between her uh, GB count and her blueprints, uh, she's set with 64. Now, when you're casinoing for an item, um, one of the strats I've heard used by top players in this game is like, you, you gotta check the sphere zeros in the later levels. So those are the one that's gonna help you out the most. Yeah, more often than not, they're just... In a, it, 
it's unlikely to be the things that have been already like greatly hinted. Though we're not quite in casino mode yet, but we're rapidly approaching that. Really depends on what Castle Rooms has for us. Well, it's not here, that's for sure. Well, that was some Mario Paint music there. It took me like a... Uh, uh, it took me a second to put... to identify that one. Chunky next? Yeah, it looks like that's where we're going. Now, what would be funny is if uh, the potion, the fairy had something. I don't think it's likely, but. Speaking of the fairy, Ash is about to get the caves fairy in the igloo. She's looking for this uh, potion hint that was hinted. Oh, is that oh, a potion? Oh, that's a potion. It's clear. Okay, so. It's one of the lanky checks and caves if it's this. Oh, it's honky chunky. Oof. That's not the potion you want to see. If sprint is actually useful here. Oh, it's sniper. sniper. Okay. It's the Kasplat. It's the Kasplat in Helm Lobby. Yup. That would do it. That is a meme hint right there. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I think we're in Grape Casino territory. Yup. This has got to be Grape, Grape Casino. Are there any other hints we haven't solved yet? I don't think so. This is where clear hinted regions starts coming so, into play. Violet's going back here for the potion. Oh yeah, the Aztec totem area has two potions, huh? Or was uh, it one? one? I don't one remember the number. Cave's Helm Lobby had two potions. That's what it was, yeah. We know one of them is oranges. So, hold up. The... The castle room's hint was to 8 and DK, right? Yeah. So... Well, well, well yeah, why would that be for Peanuts if Peanuts is in hell? Yeah, like, the, the Helmka Splat's got something, but it also leads to something for DK and 8, so it's probably... Is it a trombone check that leads to Blast? I don't even know now. <laughs> I guess you can get that Kasplat without Gorilla gone, so... It would make a lot of sense if it was, uh if it was trombone there because then it would lead to to gorilla gone and then whatever blast is wild pumpkin looks like she is going to chunkies which is three checks but oh yeah i guess it could be blast to get the outskirts to eight hint so And trombone might just be on the seal race. <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Still got the balloon, it counted. That's going in the highlights for season three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, I, I think I think this is all leading to Grape Casino right now. Yeah, 
everything else after that seems to be like some kind of speculation. Like there could definitely be multiple things in Diddy Forest or Forest Owl Tree. Mm -hmm. Like we have we have enough hints to get the remaining items at that point. I mean, whatever they may end up being, but there's Ash getting the bad news of where Monkey Port is. Is it bad news? Like, if if she's the the sooner she realizes it's gonna be a casino for Grape, the better she must be feeling. Well, me, I don't know if that's ever true if you're in a casino. To be fair, yeah. All right. I, I don't know if Ash is feeling like she was behind yet, because you know you you were still up until that point potentially looking at sub-90, but that's definitely not happening any, any anymore. But... Ash is thinking more forest. Meanwhile, what's in here? And obviously you don't want to check Vulture, because that's great blocked. Got the dog dance. Very cool. We are going into castle again. So... What have we found with Punch so far? We found Twirl, right? Found Twirl, that was in a Punch Lock chest. So, Punch is on the path to DK. Oh, that was for Sniper. Oh, Grape Shooter was oh, it's right, just right there. there! It was oh, right no. there the whole time! Vern Dash wow. is now back in the lead! Unbelievable, just like that! Any given seed, folks. That's where if we had the, you, you know, that advantage arrow they have in some sports stuff, like that. It firmly pointing towards Ash right now. See, this is a thing, though. What, like, this is what I was just saying. You have to check your late level sphere zeros if you're in a casino. That's the that's the way. Oh man, this is gonna suck because what what's happening here on uh, Violet's side? She's gonna be like checking all those fear zero stuff in Castle, and she's gonna have to. We're gonna have to hold like if we want this to continue to be race, we have to hope that she goes into Forest next. Yeah, the the longer she spends in Castle, the the smaller the window is to catch up. Because uh, Ash closed the gap on uh, on GBs, so now it's just who can find all the moves. And I like this move Ash is doing because we're not 100% certain that that's the only move here. We've but definitely had seeds where it... You had a hinted item in a hinted region, but the hinted region hint is something else. Alright. This seems like a pretty good spot for Peanut. Wait, there's a potion. It's red. There's Peanut. Is yeah, we it? know where charge it. We know where charge is. That's Peanut. There it is. The double in the Owl Tree, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we had a path hint to, to Diddy in there, and we knew that port didn't lock Peanut. <laughs> Yeah, so Trombone's got to be that shipyard hint. All right. Violet Pumpkin is going into forest here. It's still not over yet. I think Ash is probably just going to skip the castle room scent. I think you'd be able to put together that it's one of the helm lobby items at this point. Yeah, that's huge.
So, do you go get the trombone hint in Helm? I you know you it's in Shipyard, but that could be a lot of checks. It's probably the seal race, just because we presume that Blast is on the Helm Lobby because Splat. I mean, Lanky is the first one, and you're here right now going in Helm Lobby anyway. Yeah. Even though you have, like, a pretty good idea of where it is, it's like, you might as well. Yeah, right, Verna is fine. not going to do the sniper. She does not care. There is grape for Violet Pumpkin. It's maybe too little too late, though. Baboon Blast was indeed in Helm Lobby. Yeah, it looks like Ash is just gonna dart to seal race immediately. Yeah, that there, makes the most sense. There's really nothing else it could be. We never got a DK phase only hint. And then this all puts together how Gone is achieved and why uh, Rocket's also on all those paths to eight. Well, I guess <laughs> you got a Diddy Helm room anyway. Another reason for it. Yeah, Verndas just went straight there. This is hers to lose now. Don't think sub 90s on the table with Tiny Phase, but it's going to be fairly close. It just shows, just it shows you how, like, like just one thing in Randomizer can easily flip the scene for you here. Like, there was a point where Violet Pong was, like, 20-plus GBs ahead, and then this happened. Just had a, a tiny grape casino, and that's all it took. This is like one of those seeds where if it was like the weekly or something, you'd have the people who found grape immediately and others who just didn't go into forest. <laughs> bottle of grog, bottle of grog. Bottle of grog, there she is, chat. Trombone. And Violet's going to pick her peanuts up here pretty soon. Yeah, aside from Grape, the seed was a little tricky from the Gigapaths, but it didn't seem that bad. There were moments where it looked like it could have gone from bad to worse. Like if, uh, Key 7 needed Slam. Oh yeah, I suppose oh, that is a good point, that there are still several crates. It's it where says, Monkey it Port says is. Forest Crate near Owl Tree, though. Yeah, we had that directly hinted, but for all we know... Yeah, it could have been a different crate it was talking about. Yeah, so that that is a good point brought up there. All right, Ash going into Helm at 122, or well, I guess 123 on the nose, I suppose. What's Violet gonna do here? She's, she's getting the hint. Not 
not that it matters, but like this is definitely a safe play. This only costs like 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. If Lanky was the second, well, nope. I figured it out. I, yeah, I think she just realized what it was right there. Shipyard to eight, blast on the path to eight. It's only one thing. I swear the Rambi Beavers game is either the easiest thing in the world or it's impossible. <laughs> I'm in the camp that it's impossible because the beavers never line up for me. Dang, maybe we need to put Beaver Bother into season four. That would help you practice beavers, right? Of course. Two quick K roll phases and a tiny phase. Uh, sub 90 might still. Uh, it, it's going to be close. I, I don't think it's going to happen. It'll be a little over 90. I don't know. What if she finds a new strat that we never knew about <laughs> right now? A new strat that's going to be patched out after this race. It's just All right. Is wild. There, is there peanuts here? Nope. Peanuts was not needed for kids. It's just wild how quickly this race turned. Once, uh, once Grape was turning into the problem. It's not getting good. Like, Vile Pumpkin was very squarely ahead by like 10 plus minutes, but like not getting grape on her first pass, she like ate up all the time she was ahead. There is the bottle of grog for Vile Pumpkin. She will be getting into go mode shortly. Goldenrod Game Corner, a good choice of music. Any uh, fans of Voltorb Flip in the chat? And we got some Voltorb Flip fans. All right, so remember, Violet, uh, sorry, Verned Ash entered at 123 on the nose in the helm, so it looks like about a five minute difference here. I did my best to curse the seed chat, but there's only so much I can do sometimes. Tiny Zoom push ups on the corner of the ring. God. Did he backflip? <laughs> I love it so much, I always forget to do it whenever I race. 
<laughs> Womp Volcano. Now that that's a bop right here. We, we know what the uh, the end result of this race is going to be, but like, you know, at the time when when you're sitting there in toes in K. Rule, it's like that's got to be the most nerve wracking part of it. You're just sitting there hoping that the race time doesn't update while you're just sitting there in hell. We've seen a couple times the race here, but the C up strat for this mini game is so good. The beavers literally do the work for you. I don't remember who it was that first Welcome showed that on Restream, but like everybody lost their mind when it <laughs> happened. It was just like, wait, what? You can do that? I want to say it was Alpha, but I could be wrong. I feel like O just. I remembered seeing O yeah, just nothing. Yeah, O just nothing or too. Paroki. One of those guys. Oh yeah, Paroki. Okay. I think Paroki makes the most sense. And Paroki, guess what? Even if you didn't find it, guess what? You just found it now. <laughs> Nice axe Char gentle chimpy charge. Charge your punch instead of rolling. Is that, that that's, that's like a that's a bingo space. That's, that's like a a tweet I've wanted to make, but I just haven't found a good uh y you need a to good have a cook good for it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that that's something that everybody does. Doesn't matter what skill level you're at. <laughs> It's just a universal donk thing right there. Burns having a rough duty phase. This is easily the hardest phase. And if you don't get those first two targets right away, you're usually in for a bad time because then you have to deal with the gloves. Welcome to bonus stage. Oh, yeah. I know I've died on duty phase a couple times. It... Especially when you got, like, the uh, pressure of a tournament race here. It's like every... Yep. Every glove hit feels the worst. Alright, we just have the donk for Vernt S, and she is going on to lose round five after this. Who will Ash be facing? after this. Oh, it's Mumbo. She has a date with Mumbo after this one. Ah. So she will have faced everybody in her quadrant at the start of winners with that. We can't see that for sure, though. She didn't beat DK phase yet. It looks like Violet Punk is going to at least get key 8, though, before she finishes. Don't think she'll quite make it to toes before okay. the finish is up. Alright, one more hit. She at least made it into K rule. So she can say that she was in K rule at the same time. And. Boom! There is time. Vernon Ash moving on with yet another upset. That was quite a race there. All right, let's see if we can bring them in. Alright, 
we have Vern Ness joining us here. Morning, GGs, and congratulations. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, wow. That one was... That was nail-biting, I'm going to say. I felt really good for the first while when I skipped the last step. I was like, yo, what if I just go into factory and buy Lanky? And then I saw Diddy buys Lanky. I'm like, oh, that's scary. And then I saw the potion right outside. And I'm like, I have diving. There's mines. It's probably just on Chunky's metal. Or failing that, it's he's, Diddy's just on the boss. I'm so ahead. And then I go there and I get Diddy from neither. I'm like, it's on Canon Game. And I have to find pineapple somewhere in this scene. And I'm like... <laughs> Fantastic. Amazing. So I just have to make my choice. I'm like, do I go Aztec and bet that, or do I go Castle? And I, I literally, I went to Aztec, got up to the thing, said, nope, went back, started to go towards Castle, went, no, if I go Castle and it's Aztec, it's guaranteed loss. If I go Aztec now, I might still be able to parlay a lead, or at least I'm, like, conceding the possible advantage I had, and, like, if Violet went Aztec first, and I'm there. So I was like, okay, I'll just go Aztec. No skip ahead, just do this, because also I realized I need barrels. Like, I was like, Aztec, no, no, castle, wait, I need barrels, whatever. So I went back there and spent forever looking for barrels. I knew it was, uh, at some point, it was going to be the uh, the check in stored in arcade, the one potion we had. But then I was, like, getting worried, so I was like, okay, maybe it's on BFI. I haven't peaked BFI, so I picked up the fourth ferry right before I got barrels. And once I got barrels, I was like, okay, BFI stocks are down. You know, the rest of mine, I'm going to check BFI anymore unless I get stuck again. Um, you both found out that Cannon Game was where Diddy was in the same exact way. And like <laughs> all the other chunky checks were but found and then... <laughs> literally down to the same... Po you check the same boss portal. <laughs> well, it makes sense, right? You, you, you uh, The path without uh, pineapple means you're going to go underground swimming with Chunky and you get those bananas and you get the bad news, not Chunky's metal, so... What's the nearest portal at that point? It's the one right in that underground thing. Uh, I, I decided to go mermaid. I was like, I got a ton of hints about mini monkey. Uh, I was like, is it mini or punch? And then when I saw like where vines was in factory, I was like, it's mini. Um, so I was like, okay, let's just, especially because I saw that storage and arcade four hint and I like went through all of storage and arcade, saw nothing. Nope, no, not the single potion, not the key four. I'm like, okay, key four is like on, the Diddy Swimming Vine thing, and that's why it's 4 8 Diddy, right? It's Vines that need some cross. Um, one, uh, so, yeah. one of the key points in the seed was uh, where Grape was. <laughs> what would, uh, is that, that's really where the difference came down to was uh, which one of you found Grape first. But, you know, before you found it, were you were you think what, what what was going through your mind at that point? Because we were thinking Grape Casino at that point. Well, at one hour, I had 55 effective GPs. I finished the seed with 15 blueprints. And so, like, I was, like, I felt very confident about where I was in terms of GPs uh, after leaving Japes. Like, that's, like, around where I was. And so then I'm like, okay, I have to go either caves or forest. I know I have an item I need in forest. Uh, the, the, the lanky thing and I still wasn't sure on what key 7 was I was like maybe it's Ostan to that or maybe it's something in there and then Ostan gives me something else in there and so I said you know what I'm going to go check the cave's lobby because I thought okay 8 donkey that could be great like there could be something else there I know there's 8 diddy in the all tree but I was like things aren't really adding up with that and so I because of all the hints there. And so I went there, got oranges, said, oh, I'm going to go do oranges, and then made the mistake of staying in caves to go do the igloo one potion, got hunky, said, oh, it's hunky and triangle, and then went over to R&D thinking, oh, that's key seven. And then as I was approaching it, went, wait a minute, I got triangle behind coconut gun, coconut guns behind feather and mini, feather and mini don't say seven on. So it actually can't be this. And so I realized at that point in time, I was on a completely wrong path, but I didn't understand. I knew at that point with Orange is Dead, Blast had to be in Helm. So I said, okay, I need to know what's going on because these hints are not making sense. Like, I don't see how we can get up to there with those things. So I go and I check the monkey board. I'm like, I'm going to get monkey board. It says Creighton in, in Forest. I say, okay, sure. That doesn't make sense with Aiden Diddy. That's never Aiden Diddy uh, in this case because I know 
monkey port has to give you donkey at this point. It's, whether it's a blast exactly, or it's a move that gives you blast, it has to give you donkey. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go check every crate in forest. It's probably just monkey port on another crate and we're getting baited with the other crate thing. And so I go and I make it night and I just roll over and I first crate I check is great. <laughs> That's that's basically what happened. The first crate I checked was great, and then I was like, oh, okay, I think I get it now. And then I got Monkey Port in the other crate, and I was like, this still doesn't make sense, so I got Peanuts after. Yeah, yeah we I think the, the biggest difference as well, like I say, getting that grape right there, because what ended up happening was Violet chased the DK and Key 8 hint. That was, of course, Castle Rooms. Which ended up being cyber yeah. scope to get the helm lobby. You didn't even care at that point because you already had grapes, so you already knew you could complete the path. So yeah, once I cleared out oranges, and I, I had I decided that I was gonna take the bet on oranges being the answer. Once I knew oranges wasn't the answer, <laughs> I knew vines didn't say donkey on it. So the only check remaining, because I had done all of Castle Lobby's checks, I had done all of Cave's lobby's checks, the only check in Cave's Helm lobby is left was the splat over there and so i looked at rooms and i said that's sniper or it's something like it's, it's a room check that i need to get uh the thing in helm lobby on the platform anyway so i was like if that's balloon i'm running the lanky room otherwise it's so at, at the point with the path i took and the point i was at i was never going back to rooms unless the thing in case helm lobby told me to yeah, that definitely makes sense. Because I think at that point we figured the seed out. Um, okay, it looks like Violet's ready. Let's bring her in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, morning, Violet. We just pulled you into the room. GGs. All right. Technical difficulties? Can you hear us? Oh. All right, oh, try right. again. Hello? Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure what's I'll keep yapping for a second. Okay, I'll keep yeah. yapping for a second while you do that. Uh, I felt like I was losing uh, inside K roll fight. That Diddy fight made me so mad. I was like, I kept missing my shots. My hands were shaking. I couldn't get everything done. I, I was like, a hundred percent. Both my helm skips and this Diddy fight, like all that would add up to one DK phase. So if I lose while I'm in DK phase, I lost the mechanics, and I felt I was like so 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 nervous. <laughs> Yeah, we could tell, especially like when we got to Diddy phase, like there was like the first set of lights took so long. Oh yeah. No, I have a setup for that, like to like get up there and like I, I just I botched the first section of the setup and as soon as I did that, it was all uh all downhill. I was like, I have to get back on and normally I can like readjust myself, have a plan B, but then my plan B failed and my plan C failed, and my hands were just shaking. I was like, I gotta get just get through this without dying. So, I did the sloppiest Diddy face you'll ever see. Eh, but it was enough to get the victory. Uh, GG's once again. It, I'm not sure if we're gonna get Violet in here. It looks like there's some technical difficulties. Um... I got Mumbo next. Can I, can I cut a promo? Can I, can I call up Mumbo? <laughs> do a little WWE <laughs> oh, Hold on, I'm gonna drag and try one more time. Alright, go for it. Alright. Violet, can you hear us now? Uh, Yay, we got yes, her! Yes, I can hear you. All right, Yay! Cool. Hooray! All right, GG's. GG's, and congratulations uh, on your victory, Ash. That was, Thank uh, you so much. Very well played. GG's. Yeah, yeah, same to you. Really interesting seed. Uh, I definitely could have played the, the end a little better, but uh, yeah, I... I Started to get a little flustered once uh, all the hints were piling up, and uh, Grape was uh, the linchpin. And yeah, at that point, I was just like, "Oh, I really hope I didn't miss anything." So I was just kind of trying to do things. I, I was clearing out castle and a bit of caves, and uh, 
<laughs> yeah, after that, I just figured I'd go to Fungi, and there it was. Yeah, that, that was definitely the uh, turning point of the seed for sure. Um, was a fun one to watch, was a fun one to commentate. It was a fun um, one to play. Yeah, I, I like that one. Like, I felt like the Giga, like they were Giga Pass, so this wasn't like an easy seat at all. But like, if you interpreted the hints correctly, you could get there. Obviously, the the uh, Grape Casino was unfortunate, but um, the rest of the seat I felt like was pretty nicely laid out as long as you figured out where everything was in the Giga Path. Yeah, definitely. Your your GB uh, collection was really was really good though like you were averaging like one a minute which you know that's real good yeah i felt really good about the first uh through getting the family i felt really good about the seed uh, it felt like most of the plays i was making were the right ones but uh it's not always how you start the seed it's it's the whole package yeah and uh yeah, I've, I've seen, I see some people in chat talking about the micro hint. Uh, yeah, that was something that didn't even occur to me as a possibility because I saw the the owl tree path to 8DK hint and I was like, oh, okay, well, it's obviously that melon crate. Not once did I even consider that. Yeah. Uh, Wait, was, did you think uh, the owl tree path was the 8DK? Because I have it as 8 ddk uh, I closed on my hands, so uh, I can't. Uh, I don't know uh, for no, sure. never mind. Uh, the uh, yeah, there was the Wath Owl crate, and then the the eight Diddy uh, Owl Owl uh, hints half hints. Yeah, okay, sorry. That, that, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was worried that you had written. I was like, uh, that would make a lot of sense because, like, for me, that that hit made no sense. I was so confused by that hint the entire game until finally I found uh, the peanuts also in that region. Yeah. They were definitely, uh, if you weren't paying attention, they definitely could have gotten you uh, with the uh, two items in one region. It looks like a double hint, but it was not uh, actually one. Yeah, but the hints try to not do that, but it still happens yeah. on occasion. Yeah, there were enough path hints that I was reasonably sure that it was going to be uh, two items in Altry. Especially because, like, peanuts uh, don't really mesh with the blast that was uh, going to be in Helm Lobby there. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but you can't, I guess you can't be too upset with your overall place. Well, you are now officially tied for ninth place, Violet Pumpkin. Yeah, um, I, I, which. I, is definitely like you're tied with alpha you're tied with beard box and you will be tied with either king or barry those are definitely players you want to put your name next to so i wouldn't be uh i would say well it's definitely better than my finish that's for sure <laughs> well uh you did uh you did knock me out in the first round of winners that was it, a thing it, that happened it, it, it was my only win though <laughs> I, I gotta do more than that in order to get a better placement, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, fair, fair. but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with how I placed in this. I, I did have a very small amount of, uh, experience speedrunning this game many, many years ago, nice. but, uh, other than that, I, I just picked this up, uh, around May, I think, and I couldn't be happier with how much I've developed in this game and how far I got in this tournament. I can say from a perspective, like seeing you racing, like I, I saw when you started doing races around May and you were like just climbing every race. It was like, like, oh, this person got better, Alpha got better again. And then suddenly you were just beating me in races, beating Mumbo in races, beating other people in races. I was like, oh, they're going to like do incredible things in the tournament. And then I think you played like a lot of the very early qualifiers too. And then I saw your scores and I was like, oh, you're not just top 10 like you were top five for a while and then like some other like really good people came in like you were but still like top 10 for most of it so i think if, given that you only joined in may like I, I can't wait to see what you do next season like for real i think i think you're an incredible player thank you uh yeah i definitely plan to 
stick with this randomizer for a long time to come. So, and guess yeah, what? Looking forward to seeing the future. And guess what? what? You guys watching this VOD right now on YouTube, you could be in the same shoes as Vile Pumpkin. Join up dk64randomizer.com. Join our Discord. Discord.dk64randomizer.com. Join the races. Really fun. It's a great time. It's a great um, community. It's, it, it's it's worth joining. Yep, great community, and you get to see uh, your progress over time. It's it's really a wonderful place. And, uh, that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap up the stream here. I just want to give a shout out to my co-commentator. All of us were helping out with the commentary for this the today's stream. Nintendo Sarah was our race mod. And then we also had Essen on item tracking for today. So thank you all for volunteering, for helping out. And with that, we will wrap up the stream. We will see you next time. I don't know if we have another scheduled uh, restream quite yet, but of course, um, just join our Discord and we will put in the events tab when that will be. All right, that being said, um, let's go raid Zelda speedruns because it's always nice to share the love through this randomized communities, right? Um, they are doing Link to the Past Randomizer. This is a what they call a cross keys tournament. So, um, if you are into Link to the Past, it's one of the best randomizers out there. Go ahead and watch this. Definitely, it's a great mode. I play it a bit. Cross keys is super fun. Yeah. Morning. All right. Morning. Morning. Morning.